did it go last week, guys? I mean, it's alright, you know. Oh my god, Debbie, down. last week yeah. was intense. Team, and Vincent so being the host. There no, were so no, many challenges no. at this point. Oh, we had so no. many booster cards to win. And yeah. you know what? My team keep getting oh, all the prizes. Oh, 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 no, how is it possible? I'm very sure. Hey, guys, look. Chen Hao. What's up, guys? Long time no see. We missed you guys. Oh, we had yeah. Vincent last week as one of the hosts. Yeah, oh, I did pretty well, man. I did pretty well. What did I miss? No, 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 <laughs> well, today we are back at the Google office. What are we going to do today, Denise? Well, once again, I'm Denise and this is the National Youth Tech Championship. This is an exclusive platform for students to pick up deep tech skills as trained by Google. And this was made possible by the Infocom Media Club CCA and supported by IMD. Yes, this is the first of its kind tech competition film as an online series organised by IMDA and Google Cloud. It's all about showcasing the talented Infocom Media Club secondary school students as they navigate through AI challenges designed by Google engineers, enabling them to be curious, confident, and creative about tech. And today, not only do they have to program this drone to fly through an obstacle course flawlessly, they will also have to go through a coding challenge. Sounds so stressful. Wow. And on top of that, out of 51 schools, only 20 will advance to the semi-finals. 20? That's more than 18! Okay, you know what? Let's go check out the students as they go for their briefing. Okay, no, I call too. I call, I call. 19 is like lesser than 20. So this is the challenge for today. Yeah, there are two challenges. One focuses on piloting. The other one focuses on programming. For the pilot's challenge, you need to have about three team members, minimally two. Well, for the programmer's challenge, you have your remaining teammates over here. The objective is to be the 20 teams that advance to the semi-finals. I wonder what the students are up to, how they're doing. In and fact, how exactly will this be? How will it be held, right? Yeah. Let's That's speak true. to one of the two. Hi! Hi! So walk us through on what's going on. Well, we have uh, students from different schools that are coming in in groups of five and they will be manoeuvring the drones that they have actually programmed uh, to go through an obstacle course and they'll be gaining or losing points based on how they do through the obstacle course. It's a three minute run and uh, they will be going through shapes like circles and squares uh, as you can see over there. Uh, it doesn't look hard but I can assure you it's actually quite challenging. <laughs> how do you think we would do? I think you'll do great. What about me? I'm sorry, Denise. I got a drone flying face. What can I say? Yeah. So I will give you timing updates every 30 seconds. Three minutes ready, start, stop, go. to check in with the teams to see how they've been doing. I'm really excited to talk to them. How has the competition been so far for you guys? They love the drone in the developer's place first. Oh, you guys lost your drone? Last week? Uh, no, we, no, we gave it to someone and it kind of got lost from there. Oh they lost god. their drone, guys. Yeah, oh my god. Got it back. Okay, so who do you think is actually your strongest competitor? School of Science and Technology. It has technology right in the name, right? Yes! Yes. We're not against like other schools like ACSI. Uh -huh. I heard they're quite strong. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Why, why, why are you scared of them? Like, they are, did they drone fly in a certain way or something? Because they code as like their school syllabus. Oh, wow. It's actually your best friend's SST. Ooh. Yeah, I hear that name a few times already. Right. How are, how are y'all feeling? Are you excited? Yeah, we're like really like nervous about the competition even though we like prepare a lot for it. Yeah. Like we prepare every day. Every, every day. day. 
Let, let me take a look at that drone. Can do best three right now. Okay. <gasps> no. Good luck. And maybe charge your drone. Three, two, one, go. You're ready with that go. Do we have a strategy? Because there are different types of points to get, right? No specific strategy, just like try to spread up the sensor. We don't want it to stay inside like the paper places too long. So we just want it to zoom through quickly. Ah, speed. Yeah. Alright. Ah, see a teacher there. Let's go talk to him. Is, is your school, one of the schools flying the drone right yeah. now? Yeah, it's Bedok South, I think. Oh, Bedok South, yeah, yeah, we met them outside. Are you confident about them? Yeah, I have my faith in them, yeah. We know that, yes, it's a tough competition for them. Mm -hmm. But I think the learning is very important and the participation is very important. So how has this competition benefited the school, benefited the club? I think it's a very good exposure yeah. for them, you know, to be uh, competing with so many schools and the best part is they have been trained for the competition. They didn't need any prior knowledge. If they were not trained in drones, then what were they learning prior to this? AI would be a uh, area of priority and uh, I think that would be a very useful uh, skill, tech skill for them as well. Are you guys confident? Yes, sir. Huh? Louder. Yeah. I cannot hear you. Yeah. That's correct. Are you guys confident about it? Oh, very. We have full trust in us. Really? <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. Okay, so I have a question for you guys. Why did you join Info Media Club? During primary school, I enjoyed doing coding already. Oh. Yeah. Wow. So wow. it was a passion since young. Yeah. Have you all made a game before? Uh, yeah. We're currently on it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Be sure to send me the link. I'll play. Uh. You know, like back when I was in secondary school, we didn't have all this uh, stuff in Infocom Club yeah, as compared too. to now, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do they have now? Uh, we run courses for the students, so they do a wide range of things from app development to game development. Ooh. They code in different languages such as Swift and Python. They also recently just completed a course on AI yeah, for waste categorization. Wow. Yeah. And especially from this competition, uh, I think we have given them the opportunities to really see how emerging technologies are like. Mm -hmm. So for the students, they have the skills. And as teachers, I think my job is to provide them the opportunities to showcase their skills and uh, put themselves out on the stage. Wow, you guys must be really smart. How about your teacher? Does she know anything? No. <laughs> Like this one, right? Oh, the rectangle is behind. No, yes, correct, it's correct, correct. but seated. So it's really like eye level. Yeah, but it's no, it's very hard though. I'd rather have the rectangle. I'd rather both of it front. be in the same like the plane. same plane, yeah. right? Yeah. You know what I'd rather? I'd rather win. Shh. <laughs> Alright everyone. Are you guys nervous? Yeah. Who's confident? Raise your hands. Very good, very About good. Half. Yeah. Yeah. About, About half. About half. Who's not confident? Oh, also about half. Okay, are we excited to find out who the 20 teams will be? Are you ready, guys? Yeah! 20 teams! Come on, louder! In number four, we have Anglo Chinese School. Are you ready to see number three? Victoria School! In second place, Presbyterian High! The final one. Are you ready? Drum roll, please! The winner, the number one position is... Anglo-Chinese School, Barker Road. Give yourself a round of applause, everybody.
And with that, we've come to the end of episode 3, an intense battle between the schools. Follow their journey each week as the students pick up new skills and overcome new challenges. And remember to hashtag NYTCIMC on your socials to show your support for your favourite teams. And thank you for watching this episode. We will see you in episode 4. Bye! Let's go! Oh, it's so unstable! <laughs> what? Press it lightly, press it lightly! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, it's, it's actually very hard. Oh! And then go. Okay, go the other one. Go. Oh, oh, oh. No! 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 no. <laughs> oh, nice, nice, nice recovery. Ah! Oh, my god! <laughs> Oh, there, there's a piece of the wing on the floor. Oh, no, it All right. Unleash your Amelia heart. It's not that easy, right? It's not even... No! <laughs> no, not again! Not again! Oh, no. <laughs> it's I'm so sorry about that. We don't, we're not doing it on purpose, I swear. Yeah, we are not. Let so me show bad. you guys how it's done. How do I take off? <laughs> it's not that hard. No, no, can, can. Just W. Oh, no, 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 I call Chief, what kind of software you install? Yeah. Yeah. Can, can, we, can we close the app? He closed the app! <laughs> <laughs> alright, alright. Whoa! 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>